The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, fourth chapter, text number two, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on March 22nd, 1974, in Bombay, India. Evang parampara praptam imanaraja sayobhidhu sakalena iha mahata jovanasta param. So, the teaching from Bhagavad Gita, how it has to be received, that is explained here. It is not to be understood by so called scholarship. In the Vedic literature we find, Nāvātmā pravacanē no labhya na medhaya na bahunā sutena. If you are actually interested in ātmā self-realization, then you cannot understand by your so-called academic education. No. Nāyamātmā <clears throat> professor, all because you are a big speaker, you can speak very nicely, uh, decorating language, therefore you have understood that is also not possible. Oh. The spiritual knowledge has to be understood by the grace of the Supreme Spirit. Jamai Vaisa Bhinite Tenalabha, one who is favored by the Supreme. Here, Krishna, the Supreme Being, God, He is explaining about Himself. So, you have to learn about God or Krishna from Krishna or through the parampara. As Krishna says, even parampara. Parampara means Krishna explains the knowledge, basic knowledge, to Lord Brahma. Adikaya, the Janmadasya Jata, Annayati Tarakascha, Atthesu Avidya Sarat, Tene Brahma Vida. The spiritual knowledge, Brahma, Brahma Vidya, Sabda Brahma. The Vedic knowledge, just like in the Bhagavad Gita, the words written in this book, Bhagavad Gita, although it appears like ordinary letters, they are not like that. It is Vedic vibration. Uh, the things which are being spoken by Krishna, they are not ordinary language. Had it been ordinary language, how? Because it was written five thousand years ago, how it is still going on. There are many literatures written by great, great poets within two thousand, two hundred years, three hundred years, or say thousands of years. They are being forgotten. Uh, and therefore, the character of the Vedic knowledge, they are not uh, material things. They are all spiritual. Why you are giving so much importance to the words of Krishna? Because this language is absolute. Krishna and Krishna's words, Krishna and Krishna's language, or Krishna's words, they are the same. Krishna and Krishna's form. We are worshipping Krishna's form. That is also Krishna. Uh, otherwise, uh, are we wasting our time by decorating a doll, a statue, and we are uh, struggling so hard to establish a temple of Krishna? No. This science is unknown to the atheist class of men. The atheist class of men, they do not know the absolute nature of Krishna. Krishna, His name, his form, his quality, his pastime, his instruction, anything of Krishna, that is Krishna. That is not different from Krishna. 
अभिन्नत्या नामना मिला शास्त्रिक इंजंक्शन ही अतः श्री कृष्ण नामादि नवभेद ब्राह्मण इंद्रिय सेवन मुखी ही जीवाद उसामी व सुरक्षा जैसे आई वी कैन नॉट अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज कृष्ण व्हाट इज गॉड जनरल पीपल दे डू नॉट नो बिकॉज़ दे हैव गॉट ब्रांड सेंसेस मैटेरियल सेंसेस इवन इवन मैटेरियल वर्ड वी आर सीइंग the sun every day but you do not know how big it is or even if he see this motor car a child sees he sees that it is automatically going without any horse he is amazed but one who can see he knows that there is machine there is brain so this is our position even to understand material things We are not perfect. Our senses are not perfect. How we can understand God? We are not perfect uh, because we have got defects. Our senses are not perfect. I cannot see perfectly. I cannot smell perfectly. I cannot touch perfectly. Uh, I cannot hear perfectly. So many defects. Uh, I commit mistake. Uh, I become illusion. I accept something for something. In this way, our position is very imperfect. But in spite of possessing imperfect senses, people are proud of their knowledge. That is mistake. We are not concerned with imperfect knowledge. Uh, we want perfect knowledge. Therefore, we are going to Bhagavad Gita. Otherwise, what is use? If it is an ordinary book. You can interpret in your own way. I can interpret it in my own way. Then what is the value of Bhagavad Gita with other books? No, it is not like that. Therefore, the words of Krishna should be understood through the devotee's perfect channel, as Krishna Krishna says. Yam divasati jogam prakthamana ham abhyam abhyam di. It is eternal. It is spiritual. Abba, abba means that does not perish. Anything material, it perishes. But spirit soul or spiritual anything, everything that is imperishable, abba. So knowledge of Bhagavad Gita, as Krishna is abba, the spirit whole, whole spirit, uh, para Brahma, para Dhamma, supreme spirit. Similarly, his words, Bhagavad Gita, is also spirit, supreme spirit, uh, abhinna. There is no distinction. Therefore, we are giving so much importance to the the so-called scholars may take it as ordinary book, but one who is serious about Bhagavad Gita, he does not take Bhagavad Gita, the words of Bhagavad Gita, the teachings of Bhagavad Gita, as ordinary uh, teachings. Uh, this is confirmed. Therefore, it is so important, uh, and it has to be received through the parampara channel uh, uh, that I am explaining. As Krishna is going to speak to Arjun, uh, here it is said, "Saivayang maya pida juga prakthapuratana." Next verse it is explained, "Bhaktosi ni priyosi sakachi rahasam." Gita Duttamam. Krishna will say, because it is so important, it is complete spiritual, unless one is devotee. Devotee means complete spiritual. Uh, any other one, if he is not a devotee, he is material. Karmi, Jnani, Jogi, they are all material. They are trying to utilize The material possession, for me, they are trying to utilize this body for happiness. Uh, whole day, night, they are working uh, like ass for some sense gratification. Maya sukhayo bharamud bhato bimula. Prahlad Maharaj says these rascals 
uh, unnecessarily they are working so hard like an ass just to get a morsel of food. They say unnecessary. Everyone is in four chapatis, but he is working so hard like an ass. Well, ass also can get his share of food stuff anywhere. The ass is so full that he can get grass anywhere. It is as far a few pieces of grass only, he is loading on his back so much burden from the washerman. man. He thinks that the washerman man is giving me this morsel of grass. He, he is so foolish that he can see there are grasses so many here and there, still he has agreed to take the burden. Therefore he is an ass. Similarly the karmis, you see in Bombay there are so many karmis, uh, they are working so hard. What is that? The, 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 he is also eating less. Uh, four chapatis, that's all. Uh, but he does not think that four chapatis, why I am working so hard and wasting my time. The life is meant for understanding what is my relationship with God. It is athāta brahma jiggāsā. This is the vision of life. What is Brahma? Uh, what is God? What I am? What is my relationship with God? And so far eating, sleeping, concern, that is done by the cats and dogs. But the modern civilization, they are busy. Because they are busy for eating, sleeping and mating, the, by the uh, laws of nature, that is also being minimized. I have already explained. Because the nature wants to help us because we are now forgotten soul, we have forgotten God. Uh, the animals have also forgotten God. They are thinking that this body, bodily conceptual life, they have no knowledge. <coughs> but when you come to the, by evolutionary process, come to the uh, human form of life, then it is your duty to inquire about the Supreme Brahma, that is Vedanta Sutta. Athato Brahma Jiddasa. Now you have to ask about Brahma. Not the matter. So that Brahma is Vedic knowledge. From the material standard, gradually we have to go upwards and come to the point of understanding Krishna. That is Vedic knowledge. That is Vedic knowledge. Vedaista Sadvai Ahamai Bhavidam. To pursue Vedic knowledge means to understand Krishna. That if you do not understand Krishna, and if you uh, speak uh, as like uh, so many um, nonsense things, and if you pose yourself as Pandit, uh, that is Sramayeva hi kevala. That is stated. Sramayeva. Uh, simply wasting time and laboring for nothing. Vāsudevi bhagavati dharma sāna sthita punta viśyakṣena kathāsa jat no pādaiva rati nidhati sarma eva hi kevalam. Now, dharma, everyone is executing his particular occupational duty. Very nice. Brahman, Chhatri, Vaishya, Shudra. I am speaking the organized society, not this animal society as I just present. In organized society, a Brahm is uh, discharging his duties just like a Brahman, sattva samadam atidikha ajava jnanam vijnanam astikam brahma karma sahavadam. Still, dharma he is very nicely executing his duty as a Brahman. But by executing such duties, if he does not develop Krishna consciousness, then samaye vahi This is the body. Then he has wasted time. Because to become brahmana, perfect brahmana, means to know brahma, atata brahma jiddha. And the parabrahma, supreme brahma is Krishna. So if he does not understand Krishna, then what is the use of his executing this brahmana suit? That is the body, tabhisa. Samaye vahi Simply wasting time. Uh, therefore, 
वन हैज टू लर्न दिस हैंड फ्रॉम दि परंपरा सिस्टम एमंग परंपरा का यू हैव टू गो टू द राइट पर्सन हु नोज कृष्ण एमंग परंपरा दिस लाइक सूज दिमशान ही वॉज इंस्ट्रक्टेड बाई कृष्ण सो इफ यू वो take instruction from devotion from the sun god then you get the perfect now but you cannot go to the sun planet and ask devotion what krishna spoke to you uh, therefore devotion transfer the knowledge to his son manu this age is called vaivasata manu this age now devotion because he is the son of devotion therefore this manu is called vaivasata manu वैवस्तम ना दी एज आर एज इज वही हम वैवस्तम मनु ही खाद अब्रवीत सो मनो आर स्पोक टू हिज सन सो इन दिस ए एवं परंपरा प्राप्त हम ही इज गिविंग सम एग्जाम्पल बट दी नॉलेज हैज टू बी रिसीव बाय दी परंपरा बट समर आ दै दी परंपरा बींग लॉस Uh, if I ask for one something to my disciple, he says the same thing to his disciple. He says the same thing to his disciple. But somehow or other, if it is distorted at a certain point, then the knowledge is lost. As soon as any of the disciple in the succession distorts the knowledge, then it is lost. That is being explained. So kāle na mohata the. Time is very powerful. It changes. That is the time means it changes, kills the original uh, position. Uh, we have got experience. If we purchase one anything, it is very fresh, new. But time will kill it. It will become savvy. It will be useless at time. In due course of time. So time is fighting. This material time. It is called kala. Kala means death. Uh, or kala means the black snake. The black snake destroys. As soon as it touches anything, it is destroyed. Similarly, kala. This kala is also another form of Krishna. Uh, so kala na mohata. That's why it is called mohata. It is very powerful. Uh, it is not ordinary thing. Mohata. It is, it, it is this business is to destroy. So kala na niya nasto. So by this goes our time because how the kala can destroy. As soon as kala sees that you are distorting, then it will be lost. So don't try to understand Bhagavad Gita from person who are under the influence of kala, past, present, future. Don't try to understand Bhagavad Gita from so-called rascal philosophers, commentators. And they will write Bhagavad Gita in a distorted way. Somebody will say there was no Krishna, there was no Mahabharata. Somebody says Krishna stays on this point, Krishna stays on that point. Somebody will say Krishna stays on karma, karma kanda. Somebody will say on jnana. Somebody will say yoga. There are so many editions of Bhagavad Gita. Yogi artha, jnana artha, Gita jnana artha. Huh? So the real Gita Gana is spoken by the supreme person. We have to accept that. Uh, that is Gita Gana. Uh, not that I manufacture something as Gita Gana. That even parampara pratham, even rajar sayo vidu. Rajar Shaya means king, raja, and vishaya. Raja means king. Formerly, uh, the government was monarchy. So, all the kings, all the government headmen, they understood Bhagavad Gita. That is needed. This science, Bhagavad Gita, must be learned by the leaders. 
the society is managed by the leaders, by the kings, by the brahmanas, that is Vedic culture. Uh, the brahmana they give guidance according to the shastra, and the king is trained up in such a way that he takes instruction from the saintly person and brahmanas and rules over the uh, kingdom. Therefore, it was so perfect. We are aspiring after Ram Rajya. Why Ram Rajya? What is the difference between Ram Rajya and this Rajya? There is difference. Ram Rajya means responsible government. Even during the time of Lord Ramchandra, one Brahmin's son died. So he went to the king to challenge that what kind of king you are, that in the presence of the father the son is dying. This is responsible government. Responsible government means that a son cannot die before the presence of father. Ah. In the Maharaj Yudhishthi's time also there was no anxiety. Adi Bhauti, Adi Daili, Adi Dai, Adi Adhyati. These are stated in the Shastra. They are so free, so uh, care, I mean, say, care free. There is no care, no anxiety. Everyone was happy. You will find in the Bhagavatam, as soon as there was enemy attack in the Dwarka city, immediately the kings, the royal family, Krishna's family, Pradhumna, his son, and others immediately go out of the city and come back with the enemies. Uh, this was the system. People were very carefree. No care, no anxiety. That is the duty of the government. And how to keep the citizens carefree? That you require. Authorized instruction. That instruction is Bhagavad Gita. It is the duty of the government, the government officers, the head of the government. They should learn Bhagavad Gita. Here it is said, Ima evam parampara prat imam rajar sayobil. The rajas, the kings, the government, they understood. Therefore, the kingdom was so peaceful without any care for the citizens. The citizens are also trained up very nicely. Brahman, Kshatri, Vaishya, uh, Sudra, everyone is employed. It is the duty of the government to see that everyone is engaged. Otherwise, idle brain will manufacture devil's brain. They will manufacture so many things and there will be chaos. Uh, in every country nowadays, all over the world, there is so much unemployment. Why, there, why one should be unemployed? He must be trained up in such a way that he is employed, he is engaged. This is the duty. So if you understand Bhagavad Gita, then you will be able to train your students, your citizens, your subordinates, how to remain engaged. Just like in our Krishna consciousness society, we are simply after the people whether he is engaged or not. There must be engagement. If one remains idle, then it will be devil sorcerer. Immediately, Maya will dictate, do this, do this nonsense, do that nonsense, do that nonsense. Uh, it is the duty of the Brahmana, it is the duty of the father, it is the duty of the public leader, it is the duty of the government to see that everyone is engaged, everyone is employed. As a brāhmaṇa, he must be engaged in studying Vedic literature or in instructing others. That is brāhmaṇa's business. And kṣatriya's business is to give protection. Just like Krishna was playing as a kṣatriya in Dwarka, as soon as there is uh, some attack, immediately the whole family goes to fight. Krishna, Balaram, Pradhumna, you have seen in the Bhagavad. Satya's business is to give protection. And 
Vaishya's business is to give protection to the cows, and Chatiya's business is to give protection to the citizens, human beings. Similarly, Vaishya's business is to give protection to the cows, not to send them to the slaughterhouse. Uh, to see the cows are very well fed, they are fatty, uh, strong, uh, then they must be given food, sufficient food. Uh, so, because they do not read Bhagavad Gita, they do not know how to maintain the whole society. Therefore, there is now chaos. Therefore, it is needed. Even the Raja Vidu, the Raja, the king, the government, or the government, we must study Bhagavad Gita. Uh, then it will be nice. Uh, even the Raja and Rishaya. Rishaya will give me, Rishaya will be a saintly person, the Brahmana. We should give to the government, but who is consulting? The central person. Uh, uh, just like we are trying to preach this Bhagavad Gita, uh, we are trying to give uh, the essence of knowledge. Satatam kita antam maram jatam tashta dhirabhrita. Mahatma. The symptoms of Mahatma is that he is always engaged in chanting the glories of the Lord. Satatam Kirtan Tangma. The Bhagavad Gita says that uh, Chatur Vida Bhajantema. Four classes of man comes to uh, worship me. Bhajan means seva. Seva. So seva means bhakti. Samaram Kirtanam Vishnu Smaranam Padasevanam Archanam Bhajan. These are the seva formula. So the devotees are engaged. Uh, in seva, in service of the Lord. Uh, so Chaturvita Bhajanti Maam, Bhajan, this Samanam Kirtan, this is Bhajan. And uh, who takes this Bhajan program? Uh, Sukriti no. Sukriti no means one who is very pious. And now uh, we are accused of creating nuisance. Bhajan, because we are engaged in bhajan. If we are engaged in drinking wine and playing cards with some prostitute, that is very advanced. Uh, that is very advanced society. Uh, he is peacefully drinking and playing cards with prostitute. He is advanced. And because he is chanting Hare Krishna, he is creating nations. This is God. Therefore, the first teaching of Bhagavad Gita should be uh, taken by the persons who are going to be elected in the government service. The public should be aware of this. If somebody comes to canvas for votes, you should first inquire whether you have read Bhagavad Gita. Gandhi, Mahatma Gandhi, so Bhagavad Gita. Why should you know? Do you know? What is Bhagavad Gita? Uh, then I shall give you both, otherwise get out. Raja Sayavidu. This is required now. If you want to be saved from the crisis that is coming very gradually, crisis means there will be now in black market you can get things. Means eatables, rice, wheat. Uh, but uh, if you don't take to Bhagavad Gita, there will be no more. Even if you pay back time. That time is that time is coming. There will be no more available. There will be no more meat. There will be no more sugar. There will be no more rice. There will be no more rice. There will be no more wheat. No more fruits. Then you have to eat meat. Oh, beef sour. Then that is gone. Then human sour also. Gradually come. You have to eat the human being also, carnivores. So it is therefore a great necessity that Raja Sayobhiju, Raja, those who are government men, they must study Bhagavad Gita, otherwise don't give them hope. Thank you very much.